Well, this month, St. Louis Magazine features a 12-page highlight featuring fresh and local where readers can find the best breads, meats, seafoods, pastas. I mean, the list goes on. And joining us is George Mayhe. He is the food and dining editor at the magazine. Thanks so much for being here with us. Thank you. This is We usually cover restaurants, so this is a little different. These are kind of raw materials that you can use at home and cook with at home. So. And this is pretty cool because we are spending a lot more time at home. I mean, people are getting out with the spring weather, but we still have grown to love that time in our places <laughs> and spaces for sure. <laughs> so we feature about a dozen bread bakeries, right? But uh, bread bakeries have a lot of other things besides bread. So instead of bringing four loaves of bread, I brought a whole lot more. And you, I see some colorful breads so. here. I mean, I see some pastries. You all kind of really have gone beyond. What have you brought in today? So this is from Need Bakehouse. Which we love here on Studio it, S. And it's great. And there's they're, a sourdough bakery. So they've got sourdough carrot cake and a lemon, lemon oh, poppy yummy. sourdough donut there. This is a blood orange sourdough. Are you seeing the, oh. the pattern here? Uh, Kolachi. And this is a, I'm going to cut into this because okay. this is a, a jelly donut, a tart cherry jelly donut made out of, and they actually make this themselves oh, this out of cherries beautiful. that they get from somebody. Anyway, the, the, I love the breakfast sandwich because it's, it's this size, right? It's just this, enough. This is a BLT with, a, with egg and fresh herbs and a, and a poppy seed brioche bun. I really like that because it's not too much for mm, breakfast. Yeah. You don't need it's it just and want to go back to, yeah. to bed. Oh, my goodness. So that, <laughs> <Yummy>. <laughs> so, so that's from Need. Uh, Mr. Meowski's, which is my favorite name of a bakery. That's the, it's name, so of his, catchy. That's the name of his cat. <laughs> He's out in St. Charles. Mm -hmm. And again, sourdough bakery, right? So this is, this is his sourdough loaf. This is his signature, nice and crispy, crunchy. And it's beautiful, and, too. And this is his claim to fame, right? Here, just, just smell that. Smell the sourdough in there? Ooh, That's all you have to do. It's such a light and delectable smell. It's beautiful. But he's got all these other things. That I, I went in and for this, and of course I come out with this. <laughs> with all these goodies. And, and what is this so over here? So that is a piece of cheesecake, and what's on top tricks? If you don't want to eat your tricks in a bowl, you can eat you cheesecake. Can eat them on cheesecake. That's the way I want to do it. Um, a chocolate croissant. This is a Queen Amon, which is a, a, a honey glazed uh, croissant. And I wanted to bring a sticky bun, but the guy ahead of me got the last one, and Aww. I was going, "No." Well, that's how you know wait. they're good. Wait, can we can we use it for TV? I, for yeah, I almost was going to try to buy it off. But anyway, that's from Mr. Miowski's. Great place. Well, that looks delicious. St. Louis Filipino bread may be the most unusual bakery in town because they use a purple yam to make, this is their signature bread called ube. And everything looks so good. And it, it's, uh, it, it's, it has a sweet element to it, so it's kind of a snack cake. But the, the cheese runs out of there. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. So, so that's a, a... Is this is cheese on the inside? It, it's like a white cheddar cheese. Oh, this is sweet. Good. It's like great, sweet with, great with your coffee. Uh, th these are these are breads that these are steamed mm -hmm. steamed cakes so that's super light this isn't super light that's a bread pudding <laughs> but uh, and the, the ingredients they wouldn't tell me what's in there nothing about it, it it's a secret but Boy, it's delicious it how about the color and this is this is sapin sapin again remember. you've got coconut there's jackfruit on the bottom um, ube on top and it's made with rice flour again so it's gluten-free and it's very custardy even though it's got flour in it it's like it's like magic. It looks delicious, and I mean, anything with coconut in it is calling my name, so we'll it's, have to it's, try it's this. It's really good. That'll go to your desk. Um, so, so last but not least is the Foundry Bakery. These guys are on Dorset Road, and these are about, this guy's about a mile from them. Mm -hmm. Their food is, is it's, it's outstanding. They bake all day long. What brought me in there was this egg tart, which is just like the ones they have oh, in Portugal. Look at all the layers it's there. Pretty, and it looks flaky, and it's, it's like... It's beautiful. Buttery. They bake it all day long, so chances are you're going to get a warm one, which is, I'm telling you, it's incomparable. This is a, a, a crispy orange bun. You can mm -hmm. see there's an orange zest and some caramelization going on there. You cross a donut with a croissant, mm -hmm. and you get a cronut. You get a cronut. So is this the cronut? That's or the, is cronut. This the cronut. That's the cronut. Oh, this is a bolo delicious. bun, which the, the signature there is, a, is a, it looks like a pineapple. It's pretty. <laughs> And this is something I've never seen. We're going to cut into this for the first time. This is a taro globe moon cake. Oh, Why I it's called a moon taro. cake, I'm not sure. It kind of looks like the moon. But it's got a taro custard in there. Oh, 
and How then about some that? nuts. Are those walnuts? Those are chestnuts. Chestnuts. So that's a, that's How the, just outstanding. So this is all again. Oh, and this is their their bread, which is look at this look at this it's, loaf of bread. This is the anti, and I love the imprint on it. This oh. is the antioxidant bread. Why? Because there's goji berries and cranberries and blueberries in there. So all those bread, antioxidants that you need. Healthy bread. Bread that's good for you. I love that. It smells good too. Oh. Isn't that George, a beautiful thing? It is beautiful. Let's eat. I haven't said it all day, but all of this is making my mouth water. <laughs> so we're going to eat in commercial break, and you can get your hands on the April edition of St. Louis Magazine, a 12-page spread, making sure you get all of the delectable delights right here that George brought in on the show for us today. This has been another edition of Mondays with Mayhe. George. You brought in all the calories, man. It? Yeah, we have a table full here. <laughs> Me too. Hey, St. Louis, we're going to sample these in commercial break. I'll let you know how it is when we come back. She might Don't be go back. anywhere. <laughs> I probably won't be back. <laughs>